to talk about the top 10 best offensive war teams. And we're going to do that with my guy, Valley Flying. Say what's up. You're the best. You're Man. the best. You're know, the best. Right? All right, so oh. what we're going to do today is we're going to go, we're going to start at the bottom and work up. And okay. uh, tell me why we need to know what our best 10 teams are. What's the idea behind 10 teams? Because most wars are only using 10 teams, and uh, you, you don't want to be using your best teams up front. You want to save it in case there's something tricky down the road that uh, might throw you off. So save your best teams. Use your worst ones first if you could, uh, if you could manage that. Yeah, that's, that's why you want to know what your 10 best are. OK, so we're going to go we're going to start at the bottom. Now, I, I got to tell you why I think this is, is sometimes I'm in the flight deck and I go, wow, all of my teams can beat this. I need to use my worst team. And so I, for me, it's yes. been very vital for me to know what my 10th best team is, because there's no yeah. reason in taking in a team lower than that. If I'm never going to get to my 11th team, why risk any battle? You know, if there's a a one percent chance that I could lose a battle, it's just not worth it. I, I just might as well take my tenth best team, right? Well, yeah. you, you know, there's no reason to use a, a weaker team than my tenth best team. So, I, so a lot of people. I, I'm, so I'm going to show you what my tenth best team is, and it okay. and these are my blitz squads. So it's a little off, but basically it's power armor without Iron Man uh, okay. instead of Iron Man is Ultron and. I, I do. I, this happens all the time. People go, wow, you just wasted a team. It's like, listen, this is my 10th best team. <laughs> There's no reason in taking a worse team. Like, it, I'm exactly. not, yeah. I, I got it. So, uh, but I like to use this team. Oh, boy, I got to tell you, I don't like using this team on any type of situation where there's defense down. Uh, I mean, Ult Ultron mitigates that a little bit, but Power Armor gets deleted if you're in a room with defense down. Power Armor is temperamental, right? Yeah, you got to watch it. I mean, normally I'm using power armor against the uh, BKT, but that vision could screw it up totally if uh, rescue gets ability blocked. So, yeah, you, you, there's a, there's, well, it's, when it goes right, this team is awesome. But there's a lot of times when it doesn't go right and it's it doesn't work properly. Well, and there's certain teams that mess with the turn order of power armor, like Groot putting slow, right? You know, and yeah. and or, uh, you know, any team that applies slow throws off the turn order or stun and so because it's a combo team so i find that um having ultron in there kind of balances it out a little bit you know where you know if if they can't combo off then maybe ultron can still hang in there and pull off the win uh but otherwise i really don't like power armor i think uh, there's just so many little one little thing can go wrong you know you could get you know you can go up against captain marler uh captain marvel brawlers and they could burst down rescue and guess what you lose and yeah. and, and 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 even it seems like you win like monstrously or you lose like it's not like it's not like a close match it's like wow this team is best team ever or he's like wow i just got screwed by something so small so yeah I, but it's, it's not a 50 50 ratio it's like 80 percent of the time you're totally gonna smash yeah 20 percent of the time yeah. things go wrong and nothing happens so it, when it's super satisfying when everything goes right and you're totally smashing a team though it, that's that's why i do like power armor but that's 20 percent of the time yeah and and it's th not it's not that guaranteed that you need in war yeah so this is you know definitely like my flight depth uh flight deck option cleanup you know, when we're at the end of the, the round, you know, definitely this is kind of my, my and it, and Ultron speeds it up. So, uh, but this is something I would just double down. Knowing what your 10th best team is, is huge for yes. like planning. And, and it's like, wow, I can beat every, like you're looking at a team. And it's like, well, I just got to take that team out. There's no reason to do anything lower than your 10th. And then as the, the, the match goes on, then you, you realize that you can use better and better teams and you don't feel like you're stretching. Uh, which is kind of good. All right, so number nine, uh, and this is specific to my roster, is uh, uh, Astonishing X-Men. Now, I, I, I've i been um, toggling between them on defense and offense, and I recently put them back on offense. Uh, but I actually think that they are, are, if we get another amazing offensive team, they may actually go on defense because they the computer plays them so well. What do you think about Astonishing X-Men? How are you using them? 
Yeah, um, I'm, I'm looking for Doc Ox. I'm looking for some Wave 1 Avengers. Not a lot of times I'm finding matchups that that power balance equals uh, for them to counter to Emma Rodders, but uh, I'm considering balancing them on defense as well. Why did you Why did you put, take them off of defense and move them back to offense, though? Okay, because, uh, well, there's a, there's a, that'll be for a separate video, perhaps, to show you my defensive okay, war nice. team. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was used, <laughs> see, I went, for, I went from having a baby doom to a full doom. And what I was, I was using baby doom on offense and okay. with Fantastic Four. So I was using baby doom on offense with Fantastic Four. And then I eventually just put Fantastic Four back on defense. And then, with doom. and then, no, uh, without doom. Without doom with She Hulk. And then I ended up putting okay. Doom with all things X Men with okay. Phoenix. Okay. With Phoenix, it seems to be. Okay. You know, I, we're gonna that'll be a first separate video. Two days okay. from okay. now, we're gonna make a each of we're gonna do the same video that we're doing right now with with hybrid teams, our defense, our eight teams on defense. All of our defense. Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna be a separate video because that's gonna come up right now. Is where's X Men? X Men does not work. Was not has not been working well for me lately on offense. Mm. I've been having I've been struggling with because Beast was kind of what made that team work on offense and Beast now goes over here and it's like well oh boy it became like unless I was in like in a security room where the you know I was using uh, X Men on security rooms where they have defense down because Phoenix sucks in the defense down but still mm -hmm. there's some times where just Phoenix wouldn't die you know because uh, you know we I had to take my phoenix to 15 for dark dimension 4 then I'm getting to situations where she just won't die and I lose yeah. matches that I shouldn't lose and it became a risk a liability at times and I just find her better on defense now but anyways uh, other thing too um I they actually if you see hella on defense I know some people have been doing this weird this weird team with like mercenaries with like Hella and Loki. Have you seen that? On defense? I haven't on seen defense? that on defense yet. Yeah, no, it's just like th yet. dude this team Jubilee, Jubilee just runs over that team, and, and mm. same thing with Symbiote. So I, I don't, I don't suggest that. But anyways, uh, sometimes you'll see a uh, Hell as Guardians on defense, and then uh, if you get stuck with a Hella under Stealth Beast uh, basic attack, can actually get to her, which is and clear that, which is kind of nice. Nice. All right, yeah, so so weird, so weird about the X Men. There were, I, I remember uh, we were like, why do we need Beast? They're ready the best team in the game, and then now it's like they don't work without Beast because the meta has shifted so much. Yeah, oh for sure, yeah for <laughs> sure, yeah Beast. Oh my god, uh yeah. And anyway, so this is a great team. I uh, use a lot of good plays. This, that's, that's an amazing team. Uh, high yeah. High Bishop, High Jubilee, uh, Beast also is kind of nice to have up there. I don't really think I'm gonna ever upgrade my Ice Man and Kitty unless I have to. I don't see the <clears> neat <throat> reason for it now. <laughs> yeah, especially if you can beat the Doom Raids pretty easily. There's yeah. no reason. Okay, next best team. Now this team right here is incomplete. Ooh. Okay, let me tell you what it, what really happens is most of the time I'm taking out Hella, I'm taking out oh. Elsa and putting Hella, and oh, okay, a okay. lot of times That's, I'm taking right. out Scarlet Witch and I'm putting Loki, and I'm using it against um, uh, Sinister Six or Wave One Avengers. Wave One Aven okay. big. We're talking like big teams, big Wave Ones and big. Sinister Six, uh, with uh, with uh, Loki, Hela uh, bursting down the Thor early in Wave One Avengers, um, and then against Sinister Six, uh, basically trying to take out the Doc Ock, but then using Mordo uh, to target uh, Rhino so that you stun Rhino. And here's the thing: is you don't want to blind Rhino, but you know how passives in this game work differently when they're stunned. On some characters, the passives are disabled when they're stunned, and yeah. some. So rhinos, <laughs> there's it's. I want to. I wish the there was a. Is very it's inconsistent. <laughs> but here's the thing: is rhino, if he's stunned, then you can start stunning Doc Ock or somebody else, and then it, you don't have to worry about the blind going on rhino. But if uh, you, okay, but, when, but when rhino is not stunned, you don't want him blind. You don't want him blinded because his passive will trigger. He'll clear it away and all that stuff. And so because he has kind of an and he has an anti blind. He it was kind of an anti magneto. A thing yeah, back it, was, it was the counter to sinister uh, the the brotherhood the yeah. original brotherhood so uh once you get once you get rhino stunned with mordo then you can start doing different things with the blind and 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 it's fine and then hella spreads it uh because sinister six doesn't really have a good way of clearing away negative effects and so this yeah. hella natural whatever you want to call it destroys that uh not only uh so sinister six and wave one usually 
just get chewed up by this team. Uh, very, it's a lot of fun to play actually, uh, especially yeah. against big Doc Ox. Like I've got up against yeah. like 200k Doc Ox before. Anyways, that's uh, interesting. I haven't used it against uh, the Sinister Six. I've been focused on Wave One Avengers with this, so I'm going to try that with uh, Sinister Six. Sure. And so a lot of team. a lot of people have been asking. Ooh, okay, I yeah. love it. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking who is your fifth in your X Factor, and I think other than <laughs> Silver Surfer, obviously Silver Surfer. Uh, some people are actually using Zemo, uh, and if there's more consolidations of teams, someday I might put Zemo here. Zemo's actually, sure. but but Zemo's so good. You know, maybe putting Zemo here, and then and then then reconstructing the old uh, Hydra 2.0. You know, with Red Skull with four minions. With put who? that on difference on defense. Minions? Oh, yeah, on defense. Yeah, remember that old back. I've, I've been seeing that pop up more and more on defense back back again. Yeah, so I've been using Red Skull on offense with with Zemo, but if there's more shifting, maybe we'll go back. You know, and, yeah. and take apart Hydra 3.0 and put uh, 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 Zemo here on this team. But Namor, I just got to use him somewhere. I suppose you could use Captain Marvel, but I prefer Captain Marvel on defense. Um, this does a you can do, go against a bunch of different teams on this. Uh, get, this this goes against big punch ups. Some yeah, huge big punch ups with punch, that team. Yeah, big punch ups. Um, I I'm not completely comfortable with the team yet. Uh, it it can go bad if like. Uh, long shot gets destroyed early or gets bursted down, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, if those dad bros are there, the, the team's fine. Multiple man gives enough protection. Yeah, it, it, usually it's just uh, give them enough time to start this off. Namor, it, it, I know he always crits, but the deflects mess him up, so he really doesn't. Uh, you, typically, he just kills the deflects. I I find on this team, he goes slow enough so that ultimate is coming in and he's clearing like he is clearing uh, the uh, immunities and stuff from the okay. other team is what I find on uh, with Emma Rotter. So his 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 ultimate coming a little slower, actually, I think is beneficial on this team, okay. at, least, at least in my experience. OK, I haven't tried this against Emma Rotter's. Is it pretty effective? Oh, big, big punch ups, at least 200K every time. Minimum. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's a very, very interesting. I've been using what, who, are, who, are, who are you using it against? Uh, I have uh, random teams. Mercs. Yeah, random any, teams. Any big team again? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, just like, I actually, this is kind of still in its, uh, like, I, I'm not really comfortable. Oh, that's what I just said. I'm not really comfortable with this team. Like, I, I want to use it against M Marauders, but, you know, when I see these uh, Gear 14, 6 red strifes, I'm I'm just, I, I chicken out and always take Black Order. I um, mean, you, you should be fine up to even 670, maybe, maybe even 700. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll, I'll try that tonight. Uh, but I've been doing this against <laughs> Emma Rodgers. Well, that works too. We can, yeah. There's a lot of Emma Rodgers counters. <laughs> Emma Rodgers. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I've I've seen I seen a 300k punch up against Wave One Avengers with this team. 300k. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That team is solid. That team yeah, is solid. Yeah. I, I, so the so a lot of people are saying best offensive war team in the game. And I say, well, maybe second best. Second only to Black Order. Oh, I don't know. X Factor's up there, too. There's, there's like there's like one A, one B, and one C. Yeah. Um, they're all they're all good. And this Some... this team really is just about White Tiger and Night Nurse. I don't even know what the other three do. <laughs> I mean, they do they, they, they do add stuff. some value. My Moon Knight does some good stuff as well. No, I, Moon Knight does clearing the buffs and kind of getting flipping everything. Yeah, they give them counters. Yeah, and then Electra <laughs> puts disruptive. But then after after they do that, it's just it's just a it's it's White Tiger and Night Nurse doing all the work. Yeah. After yeah. that, um, yeah, it's a fun team. It's fun. Yeah, there's a risk of timeout though against uh, <clears throat> Marauders. I've noticed that you know if if you. Especially if you don't, if you if you don't get the disrupt against uh, Strife turn one with uh, Electra, that can be a problem. Uh, then you're if you're not able to land the ability block on Emma turn two with uh, White Tiger, things can kind of go wrong. You know, if if things stall out, I've I've timed out before. Yeah, I, I there's there's been some stuff that's went wrong with that team. I've lost like White Tiger very early, but. I don't know. This this team survives uh, for yeah. some reason. It doesn't seem like it should work without White Tiger, but I've lost her early and still been able to finish off Emirates. So th this yeah. is a very strong team. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, uh, these two teams are are you know 
monster, huge, offensive big teams, punch ups. big punch ups. Um, you know, have fun with it. Uh, we're seeing. Yeah. Um, we now feel that uh, at least where we're playing, we're in plat two, almost plat three. Like uh, if 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 we're playing up against alliance that's thirty million above us or thirty million below us, we're they're they're contenders. It, we're we're taking everything seriously in, in that spread. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, it used to be like, oh, 10 million. Oh, we'll see what happened. No, 30 million. It's, like, it's 5 like, million back in the day. It was like, oh, it's 5 million. You no, can't beat this. No, now <laughs> it's, it's like bigger. now it's like 30 million. We we don't it's not a it's not a not a win or lose with like even 30 million. And I know people say, "Well, 40 million, 50 million." No, well, where we're at everybody's pretty competitive. So it's it's it's, it's so the spread is about 30 million that we're seeing. But, what when I think of it is a lot of these new teams yeah, yeah. being being able to do those large punch ups. I, I think they're getting ready to to bring in the ten, the ten defensive teams is what I think they're doing. They're creating a lot of offensive teams because they're worried about it getting stalled. Uh, so they're yeah. going offense heavy right now for when they do decide to go to ten defensive teams. That, that's they said they were thinking about that, right? I don't Makes know. Makes sense. That was that was one thing they were considering. And then uh when talking to Jason, he didn't seem like uh they're really liking to add more defensive teams from no, and the I, way it sounded. So yeah, yeah it, it could be just more rooms. I think I think or more more yeah, two extra defensive teams would mean that you would have to have more offensive teams. Boy we, as soon yeah. as that happens, check back. We'll have to have more videos because yeah, that'll change like everything. Top twelve or top fourteen, yeah. more teams. Yeah. So that. right now it's top ten <laughs> offense, top ten, top eight defense, and then okay, then yeah. um, okay. So this team does oh, not look like this. Okay. Yeah, Delete. King, Kingpin okay. is probably not under. <laughs> don't look at Kingpin. Don't look at. <laughs> don't look at Winter Crossbones. Soldier, and don't look at Crossbones. All you need to see is Zebo and Hydra Grenadier, and then typically, um, then there's Red and, Skull, and then, and, and yeah, Red. That gives go for that it. That gives enough damage. That gives enough damage for your Grenadier to be higher than Zemo because Zemo looks pretty beefy. Okay, so here's the thing. So go uh, go take a look at. Uh, so this is a big deal, especially against Mercs. Your 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 Zemo has to have. If you want to go against a Taskmaster and friends, uh, you're gonna need. A Red Skull, your highest powered level Hydra. It doesn't matter what it is. That happens to be Winter Soldier. And then lastly, a, a, a pre-taunting tank. So I, I will take in Red Guardian or Drax just to soak up. Yeah. So uh, if you're going to go up against Mercs, the, my team composition is usually Drax. Um, my highest Hydra, it doesn't matter, uh, Red Skull, Zemo, and Grenadier. And then the math is you have to look at Grenadier's damage and i believe it's 50 you have to multiply it by 15 percent and then see if that because the red skull passive right yeah and then make sure that yeah. that it's higher than zemos yes and is it is it, it is. currently it is current. it? okay i had okay. to take but okay. but but that was like so what happened to me is that uh uh red skull went into the or, or zemo went into the the raid store and I was able to take him from six stars to seven stars, and it threw off the numbers. And then I had to basically take Grenadier to 14, which I mm. is garbage. Uh, also, <laughs> putting Grenadier as a striker increases his dam his stats, his damage also. Uh, so, good, good, so, good point. so putting uh, a Grenadier. So if you don't, you know, one of the tricks you can do is change it to striker, and maybe that'll get higher than Zemo. Because yeah, if you have okay. a 15 Zemo, that's going to be a problem. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> um, this takes out a lot of different teams, mostly using against Mercs, but also Wave One Avengers does pretty well. Uh, it does okay. It's not that I, actually. I think these teams down here are better right here. These two teams are yeah. better than this. I, I probably this is the wrong order. It's just that the, the it, it, it it's a fun team. I, I you know it's uh, just move it down They're a little fun. bit. They're yeah, fun. it's fun. Anyways, what's, all, all hybrid teams are fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so anyways, not this team. This is my little, my my Blitz team. But yeah, Red Skull, Grenadier, and then the other two, typically a pre-taunting tank if it's going against Mercenaries. If I'm going against anybody else, it'll just be my my two highest uh, Hydra. I actually don't get picky on it. I don't yes. think it matters, actually. They, they just stand there. I seriously, they just stand there. They it's don't do anything. It's mostly Zemo, Grenadier, Red Skull that make it. Is the, the other one doesn't matter as yep. much. All right. Oh, uh, that's a that's a nice brotherhood. Yeah, uh, 
Brotherhood 2.0, boy, this uh, goes up against so many different teams. Um, I don't know, man. It's just like this. Do we even need to talk about this team? It's like this no, it's is, a good team. It's yeah, a good team. It's, they, this they is, counter a lot. They counter a lot. Yeah, and, and it's definitely not better than Emirates or uh, this. I mean, you're not going to get punch ups, but it's just like, wow, well, we know how this team works. You know, you can. You know, this is probably the main reason why. You know, like uh, it seems like most teams are like trying to counter this team. Like they'll throw a squirrel girl in there just so you can use Brotherhood 2.0. You've seen that before, yeah. right? Yeah, they they because they still counter a lot. They're an older team and they still counter a bunch of stuff. Yeah, Magneto going early and putting blind a whole team just ruins the AI. Absolutely. Uh -huh. All right, and then uh, then we've got your your staple uh, yep. X Force. Um, They're good. They're really good. <laughs> yeah, pretty much against everything. Uh, Mercs specifically, um, making sure that. Uh, Teenage Warhead will drop any has enough damage to drop any one of the characters below fifty percent, which then gives turn meter to X twenty three, and then X twenty three double taps Taskmaster, and a lot of times just destroys him. And then the whole the, and sometimes you you take out the whole team before they even go. It's crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah she's it's all it's all based on X twenty three. X twenty three is the most important member yeah. of that team. So like we're going over my teams, I think it's important to notice what what characters I boosted. You know, you X twenty three and Teenage Warhead needs the boost. Yeah. You know, uh, White Tiger and Night Nurse needs the boost. Shatter Star yeah. and Lysar. You know, I Bad don't. Bros, yeah. yeah, I don't boost characters unless I have to. You Zemo. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Right here, you know, it's gonna be. You know. And characters, characters that you're probably using in a lot of game modes as well. Yeah, but I, I don't feel like you need to upgrade these other characters that much. Uh, you know, if you know, as far as like, I don't think mm -hmm. I don't think there's going to be a situation where I upgrade uh, Deadpool or Domino. Cable has his has yeah. his passive, which I think is pretty good in RTA. Yeah. But other than that, I don't I don't I don't I won't need to. I just don't I don't see the need. Uh, then we've got symbiotes. Boy, symbiotes work like everywhere. I've been. You know who yeah. you know who they actually who? counter a lot is who Doom. Doom. I, I haven't I haven't been brave enough to tra uh, to take him in against Doom. What, um, uh, two two reasons they usually can kill his bots and get turn meter, and then uh, Venom can point. ability block him. Okay, yeah, good points. All right, I, I, I'll start looking for Dooms with these guys. Yeah, been... well, the problem with Doom teams is everybody uses a different Doom team, and so it depends on what Doom team they're doing. You know, there's uh, like yeah. there's like five thousand Doom teams, uh, and 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 in your you know so. But I, I actually uh, punched up against Doom Rodders with it. So he's like, I was, I, wow. went, I went after uh, the Sinister clone and the Doom bots, and it just goes. You actually can do Sinister Six too. Go after the clone, you know, maybe t take out the the Mysterio, kill the Mysterio clones. As long as you can get that turn meter and speed going, they just ramp up, and you can you can win. Yeah, normal. I'm using these guys against Sinister Six, but I'll, I'll look for some Doom matchups because I like that. Right. Doom bots. And then lastly, we've got Black Order. Ah, everybody. Yeah. Well, I yeah. Everybody. Now, now I just <laughs> want to talk about this for a second. Um, I I'm I, I'm not in a uh well, that's not true. They just moved me. But typically I've not been I I went from like you know, a, a not strategically important room. Now I am, I guess. I'm in one of the rooms. But in the past I was not really my my purpose was to uh, you know, log in at the beginning of war and get six attacks right away. And then at the hour 45 minute, then the first energy drops. So seven attacks in the first two hours, basically. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's my job. And and when, and when it's amazing, if you get everybody to do that, um, you're gonna find that you're gonna get full clears and you're gonna get through the key defensive rooms quickly and you probably win the war. And here's the thing is that um, Black Order uh, for me, because I'm not in a, in a key strategic room, and what I mean by key strategic room, I mean armory, barracks, hangar, med bay, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, those the global, the global ones that that affect the you know the global. Um, there's no reason for me to run black order on defense because all that somebody's going to do is run their you know take their black order and punch up big against mine. I, I just yeah. I, I know people have these these this this um, oh I had. 
15 defensive wins with Black Order. I was like, well, how many wars did you not get full clears on if you would have gotten, if you if your alliance had a lot of Black Orders on offense? I just What I'm trying to say is that at least, at least in the alliance I'm in and in Platinum 2 going into Platinum 3, Black Orders on defense is not a thing. Everybody uses it on offense. I don't see those. I don't even see those anymore. Do you see them? I don't know. I I hear people tell me all the time about black order on defense, and I'm like, I would not do that. I I, I would if you can, if you can push and and get through those big rooms quickly, early, and have everybody coordinated. Uh, you know that it's not a thing. Black order on defense is not a thing. Yeah, I mean, my old alliance leader, I think, put it best. He's like, everybody's facing black order in arena. Everybody has experience against Black Order. Everybody knows how to beat Black Order. So just putting them on defense, you might not even get a defensive win, whereas you could have a guaranteed offensive win, and that's probably more important, especially uh, in the beginning part of the the war. Right. Yeah. All right. So uh, check. A couple more videos are going to be coming out. Uh, yes. Basically, uh, we're going to go over Valley's 10 offensive teams, which might be different than mine. You're going to want to tune into that. We're going to go to his channel and do that. And then in... Two days from now, we're going to do our defensive teams, our top eight Woo. defensive teams, uh, because a lot of people are going to ask me, where's my X-Men? Well, you'll see, you know, because I'm doing a lot of hybrids. I'm doing I'm some weird stuff. Yeah. So that's going to be a video coming out in two days. Anything you want to say before we go? Oh, I know what it is. Guess what time it is. Uh, oh, it's a giveaway. I love it. Yeah. It's my favorite time. It's time for the giveaway. All right. Uh, I really hope you liked this video today, because if you did, you're in luck. For every single person who likes this video, you'll be getting four free in your account an eight star, all grown up Zemo skin. This is oh. not a scam. I, that is I, not trash. That I, is not trash. I knew I recognized him from somewhere before, right? Look at him, man. Like, now he's all I grown know. up. But well, I've wondered what happened to that kid. He's you know what? You determined. Know they, they they missed a. They, they they should have made this picture with a in a in a grid though, and then they could have put Toby Maguire right here. Uh. Uh, I wonder if there's a picture of Toby Maguire doing this. That would the only thing you know, if there's a if anybody has a picture of Toby Maguire doing that, that would be like the best addition to this. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I I say that all the time. It's like I really like. Toby, what Toby Maguire, how he transformed into Zemo. He's totally believable. People go, "This not Toby Maguire." People don't understand. I'm like joking Wait, around. What? No, that is Toby Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing Zemo is the best. All right, uh, head over to Valley Flying's channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on giving. Bye. Oh yeah, you're the best.